Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an author, speaker, and proud father. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. Being an asset to him. Ladies, look, I know a lot of ladies, I'm, I'm seeing, I'm actually amazed because as a, independent as a lot of ladies say they are and they, you know, y'all want, um, you know, y'all got y'all house, y'all own houses, cars, and everything. I'm seeing y'all still want that husband. All right, that's cool. And then even some of y'all who may be not as independent, you know, you still want that guy who will protect and provide and everything. Y'all want that solid man. You got something going on, right? You got some sins you can really grow with him. I'm going to tell you, a key is being an asset to him. Now, people who follow me on my main men's channel know I tell the I tell I tell the guys a woman is either an asset to you or a liability, one or the other. If she is a liability, I don't care what she look like, how fine she is. I, I wouldn't. I said I tell them not to deal with her, and I said this before. I will deal. Well, I, I said um, I got a podcast coming this week on the men's channel where I talk about um, you know a classy woman, right? But I will, I, seriously, I will deal with a woman who would rate as more plain in facial features, even body, but she's an asset to me before I deal with a drop-dead gorgeous woman who ain't bringing nothing to me. Seriously, I will deal with that first because, you know, and any intelligent man's going to do that. Let's be real because we know y'all, y'all might, look, Let's, let's, let's not joke around, ladies. We know y'all like a good-looking guy, or at least good-looking to you, right? We know that, right? Good-looking to you, or at least somebody who you like. Even if you like an ugly guy, that's what you like. He's good-looking to you, right? And, you know, nice body or a body that you like and everything, right? We know that. But, you know, you also want him to do other things, right? And you want him to be that guy who got something going on. You want him to be that guy who can protect you, who can lay out a body for you. Let's be real. That dude who, if y'all want to sit back and chill, y'all can do that. Y'all can have the baby. Y'all can sit back. Y'all want that man who's going to be responsible, right? Hey, that's cool. But you got to think what you bring to him. Now, there's a lot of talk about what women bring to the table. And, ladies, I got to call this because I've seen some lady dating coaches or whatever you want to call them. Uh, femininity experts or whatever and I hear them talk about everything except being an asset to the man I've actually heard some women talk about oh you don't have to bring anything just bring yourself oh no ladies no 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 because understand something even if you ain't ratchet that don't mean you ain't an asset to him that, that don't mean you're an asset to him you know you behave a certain way or even if you have sex with him on his command that don't mean you're an asset to him because being an asset means that you enhance his life. And that's actually what women are supposed to do. You know, when we, when we, the man, gets the house, y'all supposed to make it into a home. That's an asset. You enhance in that. When we bring the food, y'all supposed, supposed to make it into a meal. Boom. When we need peace, y'all supposed to bring it. That's enhancement. That's an asset. Y'all supposed to make his life, whatever he bring, y'all supposed, y'all present, supposed to make him better. You know, not just you show up, but that you actively do stuff to make it better. He needs to feel like his life is better with you, you know, because let's say you like physically attractive. You got that big old butt dunk or big breasts, this pretty face and stuff, right? But then you bring in a lot of drama to him, which some women do. That's why I say I'll take a I'll take a six who got good sense and is an asset over a nine who's nothing but a problem. Because even when you cooperative with them, you can still be a liability. Because it's I, and look, ladies, and I'm just being real with y'all. Y'all know Uncle Rom gonna be real with y'all. If y'all dealing with this guy, 
and all you are is trouble. It's like everything is about you. You just dealing with your issue, what you want, and you want to fight them for it. No, that's a problem. Indeed, there are certain women out there with a personality where they will want that take charge man, but then, you know, get mad when he actually do it and fight him on everything, rebel on every level against that. Right? That's not being an asset. You pulling him down. Like, you should be with that. Look, ladies, when you get with that man, you should be an asset to the point, like, no matter where, he, like, say you get with him on January 1st, right? We got the new year coming up. Okay, well, a few months away. January 20, 2021, January 1st, 2021, y'all hook up. Y'all get together. Y'all start in a relationship. If you're an asset to him on January 1st, 2022, his life, he should be able to look back and say how his life has gotten better on multiple levels. If you're an asset, just by your, just by what you do, right? Just by what you do. He should be able to say you're an asset. But there's a problem if he look back and say, well, wait a minute, I'm going backwards. And the only difference is you're there. Nah, nah, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't say, you shouldn't have him say that. Understand that, right? You know, he should never even think that. That shouldn't be the case. He need to be rising up, you know? He need to be rising up. You need to be that type of woman just by, just by what you do. And let me be clear about it. This don't mean you giving him any money. Let me make that clear because there's always some women feel like they got to support a man or something. No, no. Like I said, and I'm going to make this very clear. I'm going to make this very clear every time the opportunity calls for it. A man, there's nothing wrong with having a man that got the basics going on in his life. There's nothing wrong with it at all, okay? That's the man you should always go for. And any men who don't like that, get over it. You need to have the basics for yourself. Any man listening to this, you need to have the basics for yourself. You know, so women, y'all, y'all need to you first. You need to find that solid man. And when I say solid, I don't necessarily mean he making six figures or some of that bullshit. Yeah, I'm gonna call it bullshit. It means he's being solid because he could be a solid man and he only making fifty thousand. He's still solid. You know, he handling his business. He's responsible. But you need to be that woman that's gonna make things ever even better. See, women, ladies, that's your power right there. Your femininity is your power. You can bring peace to that man. You can enhance that man. When, he, when he's with you, he should feel like, because when man goes out in the world, he's constantly active. He's doing stuff. He's the warrior. He's constantly in that state. When he comes to you, he should feel at peace. He should be able to chill with you. I'm going to tell you what. I remember always talking with men, even to this day, yeah, we, yeah. Let's be clear. We talking about how good you look and all of that. That's who we are. But if we, if a man can talk about a woman, and say, man, she is just so chill to be with. <laughs> Ladies, you got him. So you, that's shoot. Just bring your femininity. Like true femininity is like a garden to her, and we should be able to sit in that garden and chill. You know, that's an asset. And then, especially like say he in business, but you just say, you know, I'm gonna be a help meet to him. I'm going to be a help me to him. That's powerful. Use an asset. Even in some cases where, yeah, he's solid, but you know what? You could be an asset to him if you just be the type to just say, well, baby, you know, I know I see you can do this. Maybe you see something that he might not see. That's still an asset. And that's the only time a woman should, like, be really assertive when she's saying, if she sees something that he don't see and she's encouraging him to be the best he can be. Right? And I don't mean a bum either. He could still be solid, but then there's still more he can do. Yeah, I got to be careful on that one, though. But even that, that's an asset. Whatever way that you have it within you, his life need to be better when you when you with him. He need to look back and say, you know what? Like, he need to be, you need to be an asset to him to the point that if he, if he cheats on you, if he rolls from you, he need to be the one to look back and say, damn, I fucked up. He needs to be the one. That's how much of an asset you need to be. So focus on being an asset to that man. And make sure, like I said, he don't have to be some bum or something. But there's a lot of men out there who are solid. They can handle it anyway. They don't, and really, except for those few occasions where, you know, you might have to nudge him a bit to get even better. 
And some women will do that. That's just nature. And so I ain't going to fight them on it just as long as they do it in a proper way. But if he's got some stuff going on, he don't, you know, he don't need you to pull him down. You need to be an asset to him and not a liability, okay? Always. So, ladies, that's all I got. I just want you to think on what I'm saying. Peace and blessings. Thank you.